So Chase the Lion is the, the absolute program foundation for us. And uh, I know a lot of people probably, you know, you're the minors, you're talking about Lions, what is this about? Well, um, in 2018, I was on the road recruiting and uh, there's an author named Mark Batterson, a Christian author. Uh, he wrote a book called In a Pit with a Lion on a Snowy Day. And he, he is a phenomenal author, Christian author. And uh, he told this story about a story in the Bible. And this is what the book is based on is in 2 Samuel 23, uh, it talks about a great warrior named Benaiah. Benaiah was uh, a, a warrior for, for Christ. He was a, um, a, a guy that had won battles in Egypt. He'd, he'd, uh, he, he conquered, uh, you know, uh, and won many, many battles. But uh, he was on a, what this day and age we call a job interview, to be on King David's guard. But his resume, even though he had had those success, he was a little undersized. He wasn't just the pick of the litter. And so he was the weakest of the candidates. Um, the Bible says that Benaiah is walking in the wilderness and he encounters this lion and he gets in this fight and he pierces uh, the lion with his sword and the lion jumps in this pit and retreats. For some reason, Benaiah, Benaiah felt compelled and felt called, like, I've, I've, gotta, I've gotta slay this lion. I've gotta chase that lion in that pit and slay this lion, uh, which is not common. Uh, and, and, and we're trying to develop an uncommon culture at UTEP. So Benaiah, to be an uncommon man, he followed God's calling on his life. He jumps in that pit, slayed that lion, had no reason, had no reason, no, no, no understanding of why he did that. But when he got out of that pit, word had spread and he became known as the Lion Chaser. So much so that it bolstered his resume to end up being on King David's guard. But God had called that on his life for him to be on King David's guard, but he was gonna have to do something scary, something that was daunting uh, in order to get that blessing. And uh, so the thing that we want to inspire our players on is that when you want something great, whether it's a championship in football or you know what, two degrees, you wanna be a doctor, you, you wanna be an architect, you know, you're gonna have to go and chase lions that are you know, scary. You're going to have to go and take the road less traveled. It's not going to be something that's given to you and given easy. So in our program, if we're going to have the mentality to win the West and to develop one of the best G5 programs in the world, there's a lot of people that are going to say, you can't do that at UTEP. There's going to be a lot of people that say, what, you, you guys out there? Yeah, you guys are irrelevant. We have to believe and take on and chase our line, which is building this program into a prominent power, which we believe we can do. But it starts with every individual player chasing their own line in their life. What's that scary thing that they've been, man, I, I, wanna be, I wanna be an engineer, but I don't know if I can manage football and be in an engineering, uh, in an engineering major. Who, who says you can't do that? Who says that you can't come here and start as a freshman? Who says you can't come here and make it to the NFL? Who says, no one's got the right to tell you no. As long as you're chasing the calling that God's placed on your life, you can't fail. But you have to be willing to step out in the wilderness and chase that line in that pit just like Benaiah did.